Hi again, it's me Aaron Nora. Just like last time, let's start with changing the aspect ratio to 4 to 5 and centering the subject. The image is not perfectly sharp, so I must hide it by masking out her head and then rising clarity and sharpness and shadows to remove some contrast. When zooming in, the image is still not perfectly sharp but looks way better already. You may ask, but Aaron, why is the image so blurry? Well, if you see a black dog looking straight in your soul and licking her lips like she is ready to eat you, wouldn't your hands start to shake? Well, mine did and now you are forced to watch this video. Here I'm removing the mask from the tongue, so raising the clarity and other stuff won't make it stick out more than it already does. Literally. This white dot on her face drives me crazy, but I'm going to remove it later in Photoshop. Now it's time to turn the eyes to fire. Again I'm rising temperature, exposure, highlights and clarity. To make this photo look mysterious and cool, I add a lot of vignetting. Next, lowering vibrance helps to remove some colors and make it look like the photo is taken at night. Now to my favorite part which is the tone curve. I just love the vintage soft look. Adding a graduated filter to the bottom, brings more focus on the upper part of the image. And as you can see the tongue looks again like a raw sausage. So I have to fix that too. The idea behind lowering the temperature and exposure, is to emphasize the look that the image is taking at night. Adding a radial filter and inverting the selection, helps to bring out some of her details. I like to brush over roughly first, and then hold down the ALT key, to turn the brush to the eraser and clean up the edges.
Now I'm trying to adjust some settings to make Nora pop out from the background. I open Photoshop like I showed you in the last video. It's finally time to do something I should have done first. And it is removing the white thing from her face. And when I'm already there then I remove other defects too. I usually don't add elements to the photo, but I thought some subtle mysterious smoke fitted the look perfectly. Thank you so much for your time.